Question one is where we're going to be identifying an audience. So we just need to identify like who is going to prepare the food for us because a big part of the design process is being able to have an authentic audience and have somebody that you can get feedback from, get some, get some ideas from, and then ultimately make the meal for and get some final feedback. So, and you know, especially if, like it's a really big part of cooking is being able to make food for someone that you care about and being able to hear from them about what, what went well or what didn't go well. So choose somebody that you trust that's going to give you some good authentic feedback. Um, identify who your audience is here and then explain what kind of recommendations do they have for you. So if they have kind of dietary choices that they want, uh, I want to have the, kind of this meal or let them kind of guide you in your choice. Question two, as a part of this, I want you to be doing a little bit of research about the origin of your food. Because, especially since we're doing a traditional food for this uh, formative, it's important to know kind of where does it come from, who originally made it. Uh, tell me, and maybe it's a little bit for you to know, and then also to tell me a little bit about, like, why is it meaningful to your particular country? Uh, does it have any kind of religious or social significance? Do we eat it typically on a certain time or a certain, like, part of the year or just... Um, what does it mean to you? So tell me, well, actually mostly I want this to be research. So research about the food and where it comes from and, and why it's important. For question three, we want to be researching. So part of the IB, <laughs> IB design process is to go out and find a few examples of products that already exist and then help use those to make your, make your product. So in this case, what we're going to be doing is finding at least three recipes for the meal that you're going to be creating. Um, now I know for a lot of you, like your... One of your sources will be your relative. Oh, my grandmother makes it this way, here's her recipe. So that's fine, include that for one, but also find a few other recipes that are out there. Um, do some internet research, do some sort of searching to find a few recipes, but we wanna ultimately come up with three recipes here. And these recipes will just be, when you find them, you can just link them in below here. So three of the major elements that we wanna include in our food design is the taste, the appearance, and the smell. So as we go through here, let's, I mean, let's figure out like what kind of, so we want to figure out what should our ultimate meal taste like? What, what's the meal, what's the, the taste, what's it going to appear like, and what's the smell going to be? And part of the reason, as always with doing this in design, is we need to figure out, okay, what am I shooting for? What is my goal? And then later on, after I make my meal, I can assess it based on these categories that I came up with. Question number five is going to be about presenting and explaining your recipe choice. So previously you might have researched like three recipes. Tell me about what recipe you went with and just explain why. So part of the IV process is making a choice and then justifying why it was your choice. So do both those things here. This is the final recipe that I'm going with and this is why I chose that recipe. During the creation of your dish, there should be, should be some sort of technical skills you've learned or a, a technical skill that you've improved at. So give me some a detail about what new thing you've learned or how you have improved as a result of making this. Uh, if you were working on some skill from your previous formative, uh, use, this, use this opportunity to tell me about how you've improved at that, or if you had to do a new skill for this traditional meal, tell me about like what skill that was and how you improved. This part is gonna have, so question seven is gonna have two parts to it. It's gonna be, one, I need you to figure out like when are you going to get ingredients? So, and when do you plan to cook? Because you need to talk to your parents ahead of time about when they'll be available to cook. Uh, you do have a few days to figure this out. Like there's, there's a wide range of days that we'll, we'll discuss in class. Um, but then also, okay, with this, this is what I'm gonna cook, then when, do you, when will you be planning to get ingredients? Okay, so that's this part here. I just wanna make sure that you have dates in mind. And then plan your cooking process. So this should be done ahead of time. Um, part of it will come through the recipe, uh, but you'll need to indicate like what the different steps are in your recipe and same thing we did last time document your work as you go um, this can be done with videos you could include like links to different sections of the video um, that could be a, that could be an option for that for question eight we're gonna go through and explain the success so we in in the previous question question number which one was that question number four we identified the like specific the specification like what, how do we want our meal to appear, like the taste, the appearance, well, how do we want our, our meal to taste, look, and smell? Once we get down into this question number eight, we're going to identify, okay, were we successful at this or not? So make sure you give some good detail about how this met or did not meet your expectations. 
Okay, almost to the end. Question nine here. It's going to be, uh, how can the solution be improved? So if you had to make the meal again, what changes would you make? Uh, were there any, any errors in making the dish? Keep in mind, like, if you ruin the dish and you don't do it as well as you had hoped, that's okay. You should include those kind of, include those, include those problems in this. I mean, because that's where we can talk about how the solution can be improved. Uh, or if you had things like, you know, you put in too much water or too much spice, that's okay. We'll include that. That's a good part to discuss in question number nine. So tell me some, like, give me some clear detail, like, this is what went wrong, or I like this, but I, I could have done something else. Like, a meal can always be improved. And then finally, just give me some detailed information about, like, what was the reaction of your audience? Did you get any recommendations or feedback? I think especially because for this formative, it is a um, it's tra traditional meal. So hopefully your, um, your customers, your audience has a kind of feeling for what the food should taste like, and then they can give you some feedback based on that. Okay, so hopefully that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.